Ah, uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make something called chocolate salami. I only found about this a week ago, and I think it's over there, Italian, Portuguese, Brazilian. I'll let you guys argue about that amongst yourselves. But a work colleague told me about it, and I was like, wow, I must make this. Now, first thing that came into my mind when someone told me about chocolate salami was actually a dirty sexual reference, so I want you to take that thought out of your mind as well. And additionally, what it is not, it is not salami, like this, dipped in chocolate. Like this, okay? It is not this. And I'm gonna prove it to you because this is probably gonna taste uh, not too good, so. Uh... Oh god. <laughs> That's not too bad actually. No, don't do that. That is disgusting. That is really disgusting. Anyhow, what it is, is like a sweet concoction with like biscuits and white chocolate pieces and nuts and fruit and cocoa powder and stuff. There's loads of different ways to make it. We're gonna make it nice and simple. The only annoying bit is that once we make it, we roll it up into the salami shape, which is why it's called salami, it should look like that at the end. We just have to sort of fridge it for at least four hours, or ideally overnight. So let's just get on and make it, and hopefully you'll join me. The ingredients, if you'd like to have a go, hit pause on the video now, and I write them down, and that's it. We'll just have a go. Yeah, let's, let's do it. I'm excited. Whew. Okay, Okay, folks, first thing I want you to do is grab this massive bowl. This is kind of like a salad bowl size thing. It's huge. In fact, I could probably climb into it if I, if I wanted to do that, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm doing a cooking video. Uh, yeah. So what you want to do, first of all, we've got these biscuits. These are rich tea digestive biscuits in the UK. Um, they're sort of light. They're quite, um, that's what you, you don't want to sort of too stodgy biscuits, okay? So these, look, I can just sort of throw them. They're like, oh, like that. They're really sort of light. They're like, like flying a kite in the sky, okay? So what you want to do, just chuck them all in there like this for now. So I've got 150 grams of these. Uh, okay, that's not that's, that's not actually open, that's not going to fall out, but let me just show you, with one of these biscuits like that, you don't want to like mash them up, you don't want to get the rolling pin and break them down into fine crumbs, you just want to sort of like snap one, and snap one again, and have them sort of like a quarter size like that, so not too big, kind of like the size of a thumb, okay, so just go oh, like that, we need to do that to all our biscuits, so we're just going to have to go... Okay, so all my biscuits are in there now, and what a really good tactic to do is to get your hands like this, and assume that you're one of those fairground ride things where you go do 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 and try and pick up a teddy bear, and just lift them up like that, and any giant ones should jump out at you. And this one is maybe a teeny bit too big, so I'm just gonna break that up. But that is it, they're all done there. No rule, as I say, on the size of the biscuits. So it doesn't matter, you can have them massive if you want, because you're only gonna slice them up anyway, but try and get them a little bit easier to work with like that. Yeah. Okay, so our biscuit bowl is all done. It's just sat there. Let it just relax for a minute because it's going to get pretty wild in there any minute now. So what we've got here is our butter. It should be at room temperature, but we need to melt it, okay? So plonk it in your microwave is the best way to do that. 30 seconds is probably, if it's at room temperature, the maximum it's going to need. Otherwise, you're going to start bubbling away and you might, yeah, like singe it and stuff. You don't want to do that. So keep your eye on it. It might only be 15 seconds. I'll be like this as soon as I stop now. And then we're going to pour it in there with lots of our other ingredients here, which I'll run through in just a second. Thank you. Okay, so it's actually the full 30 seconds and the butter is out there. Look, we've got ourselves a buttery river here and you're probably thinking the same as me, like, oh my God, that's unhealthy. But remember, you're not gonna eat the whole log. Well, if you are, that's, that's pretty bad for you. And also, by merging the butter with the cocoa powder, that's gonna help sort of substitute using the chocolate bar instead. So um, yeah, hopefully it's not that bad. Uh, anyhow, so we've got almonds here, cranberries, white chocolate chunks and sultanas. You could, you could skip those if you wanted. I wanted to try and get a nice sort of combination of colors and textures and, and, all, and all that. Uh, you could just have all sultanas if you wanted. Um, but hopefully the white chocolate chunks and the almonds and the biscuits in particular will help to give that sort of funky fatty finish on salami. Um, we've got some orange essence here as well. I'm using that instead of the alcohol just because I purely love the combination of chocolate orange. You know, you could use mint essence if you want. But for me, chocolate orange, oh yeah, baby, loving it. So last thing is a tin of condensed milk. Probably use about two thirds of that. And basically Basically, all of this is going in there right now. I'm going to do a nice close up for you so you can be with it. <laughs> okay, first things first, let's pour in our sea of butter. Oh my goodness, wow. You can still see how hot that is. Okay, now I'm going to push in my cocoa powder. It was sieved earlier, but let's just push it in like that. And actually, I was thinking there was going to be a massive cocoa cloud coming up, but actually, it's not too bad at all. Let's get that all in there. Well, I'll finish that off in just a minute, but that's all sat on top of there. Loving it. Simple step, orange essence in. Remember, if you're using alcohol, use that instead. You can actually use amaretto, and uh, that's, that tastes of like marzipan, which I absolutely hate, so I'm not using that. No, 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 no. Okay, so these are the things that are going to give it that real flavour and texture edge. What we're going to do is push in the sultanas first. In fact, now let's push it all in together. It's all going in there. The almonds, the white chocolate chunks, the sultanas and the cranberries. Loving it. One last thing is our tin of condensed milk. Let's get that in there now. 
Okay, so this is a standard 397 ground tin of condensed milk. So I'm just going to pour two thirds of that in there, like so. Oh my goodness. Right, so there's still enough left in there. What I'm going to do now is grab myself a massive spoon initially and just start to mix it all together. Okay, so I've been stirring this through for about five minutes already and it still feels like nothing's really happening. Although the chocolate orange smell is making me go, ooh, like that. I'm absolutely loving it. But what we want to do is sort of get it together so we can make it into that sausage shape in a bit. So keep working it through like that. You can sort of do an optional swivel if you want to. You don't have to do that. Just, just stir it if you want. Okay, so if you get bored, there's a couple of things you can do. Not only can you smear some on your teeth to make yourself look like a pirate, like that, um, yeah, just ignore that. Um, but you can roll your sleeves up like this and get your hands in there. It's a little bit of a crazy thing to do, but a well-known chef told me the other day that I was crazy and I kind of took that as a compliment. So anyhow, get your spoon out of the way, just like that. Get your hands right in there, merge it all together, okay, like this. I just gotta work out how to turn my camera off. Okay, so I haven't actually turned my camera off and I've probably still got the chocolate on my teeth. Yes, I have. Um, anyhow, what I'm showing you here, I've only been doing this about two minutes, is look, that's almost like a funky cylinder salami shape there. So that's what we're going to do. We need to get it like that so it's hugging together, not falling apart. Yeah? Okay, we're nearly there now, believe it or not, and I want to show you what this looks like. I have a feeling I know what it looks like and what I think you're going to think it looks like, but what do you really think it looks like? Just take a look right now. Yeah. I'm not saying anything. What I want you to do now is get yourself a nice surface like this and we're going to get some cling film out to begin the wrapping process. Put it in a sheath. Mm. Okay, so I put some cling film on my chopping board here like so. Now this is going to be our little rolling station, almost like you're rolling up a cigarette. I don't smoke, but if you do, you, you're kind of filling me right now. So what we're going to do is just get the shape right and then we're going to put it on a new layer of cling film. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just picking this up with uh, my hands, obviously, not with my hands. These are my hands, and there we go. That is that down there, and that, my friends, is a fat salami. So I'm gonna push it down, like so, and try and get it into a sort of salami, sort of shape, like a big, round cigar. And what I can do is use the cling film to roll it up, okay? So mold it out, get it sort of like the height you're after. You can use your salami if you bought one as well, like I did for the bit at the start, as a sort of template, you know, just to get that sort of shape right, okay? Uh, just, just keep going. Okay, so here's what you do. When you think you've got it, grab the bottom of your cling film like this. This, if you wanted to, you could just leave it like that and that would actually be pretty cool. You could put it straight into the fridge like this. But this is a way, you just wrap it all the way around so it's not going to get your chopping board dirty. But you can roll it now to really get that shape and make, you know, you can push it together. It's not going to fall apart anywhere. So that is looking kind of scarily good. Wow. Okay, so again, I've got myself a new sheet of cling film, my first draft of the log, which in fact, I'm pretty happy with, and you know, you could pretty much shove that in the fridge as it is like that, but I'm just going to unwrap it again and roll it, just to make sure. Yeah. Okay, so again, I've got a more rounded log here, so I'm just going to get that little flap, get it over the top, and then just lift it, here we go, let's go, roll it, okay. So what you'll find is it does go flat like that, but it's a good thing, the more you roll it, once it's all wrapped in there, just keep rolling to get that shape back. The ends, just twist them round, do 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 like a sort of salami thing, you can even tie a knot in the end, so tie that one around as well. Do 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 do. One little last roll. I think that is ready to go in our fridge. Okay, so we've done it. Check this out, our salami is there, a nice long sliver like that. I've tied knots in the end, I've actually tucked them underneath as well because I do not trust my knot tying skills, I, I wasn't a boy scout, but there we go. Uh, I've got a massive bowl there, like so, we've managed to do it all in that one bowl. It's how cool is that? So ideally what you wanna do is leave it overnight. I'm actually gonna just leave it for four hours, which is, should be the absolute minimum. I'm gonna go do some housework, I'm gonna go out for some lunch. Uh, you can join me if you want, it's not part of the steps. Uh, yeah, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna taste it. So I learned how to do like little intermission things. Hopefully I can do a little clock thing in a minute when I say uh, see you in a bit so um, see you in a bit right here then folks it's been four hours and 20 uh, to, to 23 minutes and uh, had our massive Sunday roast dinner amazing everyone in Britain has Sunday roast dinner it's so good you must try it wherever in the world you are so so good and I'll do a video on it very soon um, yeah a little walk as well but there is room for pudding but first of all let's say hello to Vivian Holman Mia Dragostein uh, Sufin Sopadieu Anna Scrinjaric uh, Magic Monstar I don't, know, I don't know if that's your, your real name uh, Matthew Taylor uh, Richard Beard and Bill Zarella from Tennessee yeah from Tennessee okay let's get this thing out of the fridge and dust it baby we're gonna dust it and then we're gonna eat it dust and eat dust and eat Okay, so just got out the fridge, and what I realised, look, it's got a bit of a kink in it, so I need to get a spirit level next time, but that's all good. It's fine, because we're going to be slicing it down like that. And just to show you, I don't want to break it, but that is pretty darn hard right there. So we have to let it get adjusted to room temperature before we take a bite in it. Anyhow, we need to get this cling film off, so I'm going to get rid of my knots and that, and then you'll see the ice and sugar do its thing. Wow! 
Okay guys, just to show you, I'm giving it a final little dust in here. What I did, I got loads of it on the chopping board, rolled it round, and then just sort of worked it around just to make sure it was all covered. You don't want to cover it too thick, but also not too light, okay? You want to give it, you know, you can blow it off like this, like an artifact, give it that sort of rough, sort of, got that chocolate creeping through. But that is ultimately a kind of slimy looking slab right now. So uh, let's cut it up and see what it looks like. Okay, doke, so let's do the first slice into this. I'm gonna go quite deep, actually. Let's, let's go, here we go. Wow. Oh my goodness. There we go, my friends. Chocolate salami. Let's cut some little slices up and I'll get Phoebe to taste it. Whoa. Okay, just before I get Phoebe in, I just want to show you, it really does look like a piece of salami, like the biscuits and the almonds, sort of representing the fat there, all the different colours and textures there. Really does smell of chocolate orange though, which normal salami doesn't, so I think she's gonna like it. Yeah. Okay, so here I am with little Phoebe. How you doing, mate? Fine. Fine? Give me some skin. All right. I've got some juice from mommy and me. Builders first and make him Stop. Better. Stop. Don't want to know. Okay. Don't want to know right now. Sorry about that. Tell me afterwards. We're doing a cooking video right now. Okay. You want to try this? Yeah. That one. Yeah. Ready? Oh, you went straight in there. Let me have a bite as well. Mm. Oh, soft. Mm. Um, Do you like it? Yeah. Are you sure you're just being nice or are you pretending? Yummy. Yummy? Have another big bite then. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Oh, don't pick your ear, mate. Thumbs up. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up too. It's strong, it's deep. All right, you can put a thumbs down. It's like, it's amazing. It's sort of penetrating the chocolate orange cake there. And you get the nut and the biscuit all in there. Lovely textures all going down as you're eating it. You're gonna love it. So if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. I'll see you again next time. Cheers then.